Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel, Eternal AC Education. In this session, you are going to learn Database Management System Part 4, Content as ER Model. So, ER Model means Entity Relationship Model. It describes the structure of a database. An ER Model is a design or blueprint of a database that is independent of the software and can later be implemented as a database. So, a ER model is entity relationship model. It is equivalent to the algorithm in a programming language. As you know, algorithm is the base and it describes the steps to solve a problem. After the algorithm, we can have a flowchart which represents the algorithm in a pictorial format. Once the algorithm is pakka, we can write the program using any programming languages like C, C++, Python. Same here. ER model is the algorithm for a database. Once the ER model is completed, we can create the database using any DBMS language or RDBMS language. That means RDBMS software like SQL, MySQL, Oracle, likewise. So, before you are going to learn your MySQL, you should know what is ER model, how it is framed, then the ER diagram. ER diagram is uh, like the flowchart. The, it represents the data visually. The main components of the ER model are entity or entity type, attributes relationship so we are going to learn what is entity what is attributes what is relationship to frame the er model first one what is the entity an entity can be a person place object event or concept in the user environment about which the organization wish to maintain the data simply entity if a library that is books related to the database form. Then, the book is an entity. Then, the object is an entity. If you have a showroom, you can use the four-wheeler vehicles as the main database. Then, the vehicle is an entity. It represents an object. If you have a state, you can use the districts, you can use the districts, you can use the ethana panchayat unions irukku indha mari or informations a gather panni or database form pannuvanga appo state ngiradha enoda entity appo place ngiradha enoda entity likewise a entity can be object even concept person or place is it clear endha edha base panni enoda database na first form pannu nu nenikirano and the base da ennadu entity uh, definite entity is an object or an event or a concept or a person or a place. Next, what are the types? Strong entity, weak entity, entity instance. What is the strong, weak entity instance? A strong entity is the one which does not depend on other entity. It stands alone. How it stands alone? There is a reason for that. Uh, and there is a property. A strong entity will have a primary key. What is the meaning of primary key? There are many keys in the database jargon. Now I'll explain only the primary key. Consider a, employee, uh, consider a student table, a student roll number, student name, student age, student's class, student section. Consider there is a table like that. In the table, student name can be Two students can have same name even at the same age here, but they will have a different roll number. So that represents the primary key. The roll number should be your unique. That means two persons should not have same roll number. Roll number should not be repeated. Next, it should not be a null value. The person should not be enrolled without a roll number. So if the entity is having these characteristics, then it is having a strong, it is a strong entity and it is represented in the ER diagram with rectangle. Weak entity means it depends on other entities and it is represented with double rectangle. See here, 
there is an example two entities bank account and bank the bank account cannot be identified without knowing the bank to which the account belongs so if it is if it is so then bank is a strong entity and bank account is a weak entity because it depends on the bank next entity instance entity instance is the single occurrence of a entity type entity is a table attributes are the characteristics of the table instance is simply the records in the table each one is said to be the instance is it clear children now attributes an attribute is the property of a entity an attribute will always have a single value that value can be a number of number or character or a string for example if the entity is a book the attributes will be like book id book name book author name book cost likewise so each entity can have its own attributes these attributes are represented with a uh, diagram or the shape oval the attributes are nothing column names in a table types of attributes key simple composite single value multi value key attribute means the attribute uniquely identify the entity a roll number single roll number is for a student so a roll number can uniquely identify a student from a set of students key attribute is represented by a oval same as other attributes but the text of the key attribute is underlined in the ear diagram next simple simple attributes value cannot be separated if it is separated then it is it, uh, it is having no meaning that is a student with attribute age an age will have be 12 25 75 8. i cannot split the number 7 and 5 then it will be meaningless composite attribute attribute that is combination of other attribute is known as composite attribute a student entity the student address is a composite attribute as the address is a composed of other attributes in the student address ing attribute ku detail varanonale area pin state country ing ras ella attribute la irundha data vai collect panni da student address ing ras form aagum so it is depending on the Uh, other or the combination of other attributes so it is composite attribute single valued attribute you know a single value attribute contains only one value for the attribute and they cannot have multiple numbers of value or a table or a table la or attribute or column name irukna and the column name la or value da irukanum rendu value varad so அந்த சிச்சுவேஷன்ல இருக்கிறதுக்கு பேர் தான் சிங்கிள் வேல்யூட் அட்ரிபியூட் ஆர் அந்த ப்ராப்பர்ட்டிக்கு பேர் தான் சிங்கிள் வேல்யூட் அட்ரிபியூட் எக்ஸாம்பிள் எ ஸ்டூடெண்ட் வித் அட்ரிபியூட் கிளாஸ் செக்ஷன் இந் த கிளாஸ் செக்ஷன் ஐ கேன் ஐ கேன் நாட் ரைட் ஏ அண்ட் பி பிகாஸ் எ ஸ்டூடெண்ட் கேனாட் பி இன் ஏ செக்ஷன் அஸ் வெல் அஸ் இன் பி செக்ஷன் ஸோ ஹி ஹேஸ் டு பி இன் எனி ஒன் ஆஃப் த செக்ஷன் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் செட் டு பி சிங்கிள் வேல்யூட் அட்ரிபியூட் தென் மல்டி வேல்யூட் மீன்ஸ் அ சேம் என்டிட்டி can have attribute with multiple values for example student is an entity with attribute age and degree age can be one value but degree can be more than one value ba ma bsc msc like that the value can be more than one next one is relationship association among entities is called the relationship consider two entities employee works at department so department is an entity student is an entity course is an entity but student enrolls in which course so that forms a relationship one to one one to many many to one many to many let's see one by one when a single instance of an entity is associated with a single instance of another entity that is called one to one relationship simple ஒரு என்டிட்டினா ஒரு டேபிள் ஒரு டேபிள்ல இருக்க ஒரு ரெக்கார்டு இன்னொரு டேபிள்ல இருக்க இன்னொரு ரெக்கார்டு இந்த ரெண்டு ஒரு ரெக்கார்டும் இங்க இருக்க ஒரு ரெக்கார்டும் இன்னொரு டேபிள்ல இருக்க ஒரு ரெக்கார்டும் லிங்க் ஆகுது அப்படின்னா தட் இஸ் ஒன் டு ஒன் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் எ பர்சன் ஹாஸ் ஒன்லி ஒன் பாஸ்போர்ட் த சேம் டைம் பாஸ்போர்ட் இஸ் கிவன் டு ஒன் பர்சன் பிகாஸ் த பாஸ்போர்ட் நம்பர் இஸ் யூனிக் ஐ கேனாட் கிவ் டூ பாஸ் ஒன் பாஸ்போர்ட் நம்பர் டு டூ பர்சன் சேம் டைம் எ பர்சன் கேனாட் ஹேவ் Two passports. Next, one to many relationship. 
when a single instance of an entity is associated with more than one instance of another entity. For example, consider a customer. In the customer, there is a first customer with the name Raj. Consider order. In the order table, there are uh, 10 orders. First, grocery. Next one, vegetables. Or next one, um, uh, electrical things. A customer can have any number of orders. So, a single record in one table is linked with many records in another table. That is said to be one to many relationship. Many to many relationship. When more than one instance of an entity is associated with more than one instance of another enti entity, then it is called many to many relationship. What is the meaning? A student can register more than one course. A course can be registered by many students. Is it possible? Yes. Many students can register a single online course at a time. Same time, many online courses can be considered by one student. So this is said to be many to many relationship. Next, ER model is having entity attributes relation apart from this you are going to learn two topics in your book one is cardinality another one is degree of relationship cardinality of a join between two tables is the numerical relationship between rows of one table and the rows in the other it will look like the relationship as you learned before one to one, one to many, many to many. One to one. We have two entities, person and vehicle. If we consider the current vehicle, the driver is operating, then we have one to one relationship. Is it clear? Next. One to many. In the above example, customer places the order. This is one to many relationship. Customer can place multiple orders and the order is related to only one customer. Next, many to many. Consider the database contains table like a following. A doctor table with information about physicians. A patient table for medical subjects undergoing treatment. Means patients, number of patients. There is a many to many relationship between records in doctor and records in patient. Uh, doc doctors may have many patients. Patients can see many doctors. This is said to be many to many relationship. Then degree of relationship. Degree of relationship is the number of entity types that participate in a relationship. A number of entity type that is connected to a relationship is the degree of that relationship. Another or a recorder, in or a recorder, or a entity, in or entity, if or end up link, if be that a path at all, no, even there, or a record matto on the link layer, if be not in there, render, sorry, or a or a database, or a or a database, na, or a entity, as a number of term, na, it is a table. Or a table, kule, and the relationship, if be na, that is unary table relationship. So the degree is one. If two tables are connected to form a relationship, then it is degree of two. If three tables are linked to form the relationship, then it is three. Unary relationship exists when both the participating entity types are the same. For example, an employee of an organization acts as the manager of few other employees. So it also connects to one entity to itself as a loop. So, the connection is only within one table. So, it is degree of 1. Next, binary. X between 2. It's normal what we have learned yet. A customer and there is a account and there is a link between the customer and the account. So, this is degree of 2. Relationship, degree of relationship 2. Because of 2 tables, 2 entity. Next, 3. We have three entity type employee, department and location. This employee works in this department, in this location. Here three tables are interlinked. Then the degree of relationship is three. 
that is another term you should know what is relationship instance each instance of the relationship between members of these entity types is called the relationship instance if works for is the relationship between the employee entity and the department entity see the instance that is the record ram works for computer science department sham works for electrical department so this is said to be instance employee is a table department is a table employee works for the department is the relation then what is the real time instance ram works for the computer science department it is the record and it is the instance let have a recap entity relationship model entity or entity type strong weak entity instance strong does not depends on, on other entities weak dependent on other entities entity instance single occurrence of the entity type attributes key simple composite single valued multi valued key means uniquely identified simple value cannot be separated composite attribute combination of other attributes single value only one value at a time multi valued more than one value relationship one to one one to many many to one many to many in the relationship you should know what is cardinality what is degree of relationship what is relationship instance that's all for now students if you thank you for watching this video if you like this video subscribe this channel to watch the upcoming videos